So here we go with round three when it comes to taking a look at the quote unquote new items for the refresh cravings value menu over here at Taco Bell for 2024. And guys, I have a feeling for today's review, things are gonna be a little on the stack side. And clearly by the title to this review, you know exactly why I'm saying that. Stay tuned because up next, I've got their quote unquote new double stack taco here on the channel. As always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Yes, sir, it's that familiar Taco Bell goodness, a cheesy, carby situation. Feast your eyes on this one, guys. The double stack taco. Lots of tasty goodness on the inside of this one. And of course, I'm going to break it down for you right now. All right, so very simply what I've got here is one of their crunchy taco shells filled with seasoned beef, shredded lettuce, red Fiesta chips for color, and some cheddar cheese. And guys, this is all wrapped up on the inside of a flour tortilla that's separated by a layer of nacho cheese sauce. So a lovely situation, guys, there. And again, it's what Taco Bell does pretty nicely with the six or seven main ingredients. Still looking pretty tasty for what it is. And for what it is, it's supposed to be a pretty good value. And for $2.19, this is not bad, guys. I have to admit, it feels pretty girthy in the hands. It's definitely got some substance to it for sure. And considering the Cravings value menu has been refreshed for 2024, which as you can tell by the last couple of reviews that I've done here featuring the three cheese chicken flatbread melt along with the stacker, I gotta say, I really wanted to swing on back to give this one a shot because it does feel a little bit more substantial. And considering the value pricing, how could I not give this one a shot, right? I mean, take a look at that on the inside, looking pretty nice. So without further ado, here we go. Let's confirm the goodness for you. Of course, we're gonna get into some hot sauce to go with. Guys, it's the double stack taco, part of the Cravings Value Menu for 2024 here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. Taco Bell goodness. Familiar flavor, crunchy, soft, cheesy, tasty. Yeah, the extra crunch with the Fiesta strips really add to this one, guys. But again, it's all the soft, familiar flavors, the crunchy flavors of Taco Bell. And as you can see, a decent amount of the seasoned beef. Naturally, we've got those Fiesta strips for color. The shredded lettuce, the shredded cheddar cheese that's in there as well. Overall, pretty nice. Separated by the flour tortilla, that has got a decent amount of cheddar cheese sauce actually all throughout. And as you can see there, pretty nice on the outside. So you're getting some extra cheesy goodness to go with. Pretty nice. You know, on the reel, I almost passed over doing this particular review, guys, unless you guys requested it, and some of you guys actually did. But you know what? I was discussing this with the endorsement, and considering I did the Double Decker Taco, which came out recently as well, the Supreme version, as you're probably seeing on the screen here right now, we were discussing if this was pretty much the same type of taco to that one. But actually, because it's separated with cheese, which he pointed out, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I will give this one a shot because of that and didn't have the refried beans. So basically, what that one had was the sour cream and the tomatoes, no Fiesta strips, but it did have the refried beans around it. This one's a lot more simpler at the same time, but again, for $2.19, I'm not gonna hate on it, guys. It's actually pretty tasty for what this is. So yeah, I'm glad I came back to give this one a shot. And guys, if you're curious about what the endorsement had to say about what he actually checked out recently, take a look at the review jumping up on your screen here right now. You'll find the link directly to it. Take a look at that. He did three in one videos, so pretty much the same ones that I'm doing, but naturally you'll find them over on the endorsements channel as well. So make sure you jump on over and tell him Ian K sent you and drop a comment down below, of course, and let him know you said hi. But guys, a very lovely situation. Let's go for another bite on this one. And of course, we'll get into some hot sauce. Let's keep going in. Mmm, hearty goodness. I'm drinking it. So yeah, guys, this actually is a pretty decent value because a regular taco is typically in the 160, 170 range, something like that. So for 219, you're getting a lot of goodness extra in this. And for the hot sauce end of it, which is what we're gonna go into here, sure, why not? Let's kick it up just a little bit. All right, so let me try and keep that focus for you. So I'm spilling everything on my napkins here. Let's give this a shot, looking fairly decent. I think this is gonna be pretty tasty. Here we go. Mmm, hot sauce is good. I like the fire in Diablo, but the hot, pretty nice. So yeah, guys, I'm glad I swung back to give this one a shot. Aside from you guys asking me to check this one out, along with the endorsement and I discussing this one here, this actually is a pretty tasty situation. So let's go for one more bite with a little bit more of that hot sauce action, and then we'll round this one out with the rating coming up next, but very, very tasty. And again, comfort food goodness. Hopefully that stayed focused for you guys. Let's finish it out. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, I would definitely rock a couple of these guys solo dolo by themselves if I felt like it. I really like the nacho cheese separating this one, the nice softness of that flour tortilla and the crunchiness of the actual corn tortilla and those Fiesta strips add a lot to this one, guys. Overall, all the familiar Taco Bell flavors and again, the value craving menu, not bad for what this is for the price point. 
So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the double stack taco part of the 2024 cravings value menu here at Taco Bell a pretty decent seven out of 10. Guys, again, the familiar Taco Bell goodness is on display for you. The crunchy, the soft, the cheesy, the meaty. It's definitely gonna be very familiar, but the price point is really the big selling point with this one on top of the overall value of what you're getting on the inside. So very decent. You can, of course, add things to this one for an extra charge, but guys, on its own, it definitely gets the job done. And again, it's the quintessential Taco Bell flavor that you know and love at a pretty decent price point. Definitely give this one a shot, it is worth checking out. All right, so do me a quick favor like always, drop those comments down below, let me know what you thought of the double stack taco as part of the cravings value menu here at Taco Bell. Did it look like it was worth the money to you? And if you've had all of the items or most of the items at this point, which is your personal favorite and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you wanna see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.